Hello, how you doing everyone? Yesterday, Juan introduced us to some exciting new Switch games coming out this week and tomorrow Jordan will tempt us with the physical releases dropping as well. I'm James Amaro and today we are back uncovering the very best eShop Switch sales that are worth picking up across the UK, EU and US eShops that won't bust your wallet. Be sure to let us know your pick of the week in the comments as each week we pick someone to win a $10 eShop voucher. We will announce last week's winner later on. Right, let's jump in and find these bargains. Kicking things off with my pick of the week, it's Moonlighter. Moonlighter is a quirky title that combines managing a store and randomised dungeon crawling. The result is a fantastic experience. You play as a young man who has inherited a shop in a town that's run down. Its claim to fame are the mysterious dungeons that draw brave explorers from around the world looking to tackle its depths and shopgoers from far and wide who want the dungeon's wonders. Not content simply managing a shop, you take the plunge and the game's loop of delving into the dungeons, battling its beasts and plundering loot which you then figure out how best to sell. Using the earnings to improve yourself before diving back in is very addictive. A strong RPG sim crossover that is a bargain with 60% off in all regions. Jordan, Juan, what are your picks this week? Hey everyone, Jordan here with my bargains of the week. Now, I'm not going to pretend that Kotodama, The Seven Mysteries of Fujisawa, is the best visual novel on the Switch. In fact, it wasn't even in our top 15 list that we put together, but there are fans out there, and now with an absolutely ridiculous 95% off, it's now just 79 pence, 99 cents in the US, and 99 cents in euros. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone has that in gold points saved up, so they can give this a try pretty much risk-free. It's got all the fan service you'd expect, dodgy dialogue, and even a match-3 puzzle element to it. I'm gonna give it a shot. It's worth a risk at that price for me. Resident Evil 4 was one of my all-time favorite survival horror games in the Resident Evil series. The flip to over-the-shoulder perspective gave the game a breath of new life for me, with great controls, narrative, and some brilliant action. For me, it had a great blend of everything I wanted, the horror, the story, and those action sequences. Now with 50% off on the Switch, if you've never played this, it's a must. And then if you have, then maybe it's time for a double dip for some on-the-move Resident Evil 4 play. This is definitely my pick of the week. See you next time, guys. Thanks, guys. Solid picks there. If you remember classic games such as the Lotus series and OutRun, well, this game took me back there in an instant. A racer inspired by the 80s and 90s. This is classic arcade racing, and if you enjoy that type of racer, then this has to be in your collection now that it has 70% off. The devs are constantly making updates for this and there is a passionate team behind it. Play this with a few friends in couch cop using split screen or on your own with multiple modes where you can partake in a world tour or go for endurance. Then there is also the all new playground mode which has you racing against a changing set of races with twists included such as time attacks, changes to weather and much more. Here you compete to beat other players and reach that elusive top 50 spot. This fantastic 16-bit visuals bring the places you travel to to life and an awesome soundtrack rounds out the experience. I feel as though Planet Alpha is the kind of game that went a bit under the radar. It's a platformer that's both unique and shows its inspiration at the same time. Landing on an alien world and without any weapons or traditional means of defense or attack, you largely use the stunning planet itself to achieve success. There is a true alien feel reminiscent of the Odd World series and Another World. Giant creatures roam the land and there is an abundance of vegetation unlike on our home planet. The story is linear and enjoyable. What makes it stand out is the clever use of the day-night cycle, which you control and manipulate in order to solve puzzles. The graphics are lo-fi but stunning in my opinion and this is one to enjoy solo from start to end. Save Me Mr. Taco is a labour of nostalgic Game Boy-esque love produced over four years by one man, Chris Galati. In it, you play as the titular octopus Mr. Taco, the cutest darn octopus you have ever seen. This is a platformer from days gone by done exceptionally well. Set across six worlds, each linear level is lovingly crafted and I had a smile on my face from start to finish. This is one not to miss for sure. Raging Justice is your typical arcade beat em up. You choose your cop and then take out all the foes by kicking, punching, using weapons and mowing them down with vehicles which are controllable from time to time. With co-op, online leaderboards and a cool arcade look and tunes all for under £3, it's a solid offering. 
Resident Evil was remastered back in 2015 and is now imported onto Nintendo Switch, the grandfather of survival horror. This game is all about the tension it builds. The controls and mechanics are largely unchanged from the 1996 original and the old school style adds to the tension further. Ultimately, it's still a brilliant game, one that every gamer should try. Another Resident Evil game, and this time it's Zero, the prequel to the first title that outlines the story of how the events of the first game came to be. It looks great on the Switch as well. And the final Resident Evil game in this week's video, it's Five. This is the point where Capcom really focused on the action side of things. Less survival horror this time around, it's about unleashing bullets into hordes of enemies. For some, this was a great change, whilst for many, it took a step too far. Either way, this is an enjoyable game, especially if you play this in co-op from start to finish. With a Blade Runner vibe, State of Mind is a narrative-driven story adventure set in 2048 Berlin. The story is predictable, but enjoyable, like watching a cheesy sci-fi flick whilst eating popcorn on your couch. The visuals stand out as stunning, the look of the world is wonderful and it's a high point. Throughout the game you are a passenger, you will interact with a few puzzles here and there, but ultimately you are along to see the journey. At the original price, it's just too much to ask of this 10 or so hour game. At a much more reasonable £8.99, it's definitely worth a look. Dragon's Dogma surprised everyone when it came out as one of the top modern RPGs, from Capcom no less, a developer we don't typically associate with RPGs. There are some similarities with their Monster Hunter series, it features gigantic enemies including, you guessed it, dragons and a huge open world, but there are deep systems here such as crafting and a large world full of characters to interact with. Its pawn system and excellent action oriented combat set it apart, this is definitely not one to miss at all. Thief Simulator does exactly what it says on the tin. Playing as the thief, you are introduced to the mechanics of your trade. There is no deep story here. This is a sandbox game that slowly adds more and more dastardly skills to your repertoire. When it came out, Jordan gave it a 6 because it had performance issues and felt like a good idea that's still in development. Since then, the developer has added some more content and improved performance, but there are still a few issues. At 90% off though, this is an interesting game to try out. Blazing Beaks is a great little game to play with friends. Levels are randomly generated and you can play the story mode with a friend cooperatively or alone. Either way, it's a blast. If you want to compete against friends, then there is a tournament mode too to test your skills against each other. For us, we loved how simple it was to pick up and play and get into. Blasting foes is super fun and reminded us a little of Enter the Gungeon. If you like that game, then you're sure to love this one too. Death Squared is a co-op puzzle game that involves working closely together. There are 80 levels in the campaign for you and a friend to enjoy, plus an additional 40 player party levels to experience as well, making this a solid pick and giving you lots and lots of co-op fun. Uncanny Valley is a survival horror game that harks back to the basics, resource management, a sense of being crept up on and an interesting plot combined for an interesting tale with great tunes. It's especially worth it with 75% off. This one is nice and creepy, worth checking out. Steamberg is an interesting combination of puzzle-based gameplay and action thrown in. The premise is that you need to protect the city of Steamberg by luring foes to a Tesla coil. The game has great style and personality with a nice story and a great soundtrack. The gameplay is interesting, but certainly has a few flaws. With 90% off, this is just 49 cents. It's a lot of game for such a low price point. The original Bleed is a tight, focused, twin stick shooter with platforming and thrown in for good measure. There is no filler. It's fast paced action at its finest. In this bundle, you get the original title and its sequel, which offers an even better experience. If you are after a solid action game to enjoy from start to finish then this bundle is a great choice. Throw in co-op and multiple difficulty levels that unlock additional items and you are on to a winner. If you like sports games then Super Blood Hockey is an excellent little game which is tied to control, is violent if you want it to be, whilst you can turn the blood off for the hockey fights if you are a little bit squeamish. This is best experience when playing against a friend and is very addictive indeed. Everything in this game just feels right and that's all that matters here. This is simply fun to play. With 66% off now, this is the time to buy. As the sole human survivor on an alien planet, you must survive as long as possible, delaying the inevitable death that must come. 
You do this by defending your base with your weapons and by upgrading your base itself as enemies approach from both sides in waves. Think Kingdom Lands but with a sci-fi setting and more emphasis on your own attacks as opposed to the bases. For a simple game it has a decent amount of depth and you can't go wrong at this price point really. And there you have a bunch of eShop gems worth considering. What is your pick of the week? Let us know down below. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Tomorrow we will be back with our physical roundup. In the meantime, congratulations to Raven Knight, this week's winner. Please email us and we will get you that voucher. Stay safe everyone, take care, and I hope to see you on the next one.